So, realimiteit is a concept based upon science of governance and control, information, information in the form of feedback. So, systems that want to survive, systems want to maintain and sustain themselves, need feedback in order to learn. I showed you the ship, it needs to learn how to navigate to stay afloat. That information, all of it, every information, even that information which do not fit or you don't really like, needs to be fed into the systems in order for them to learn. So I drew this living system which is dependent on information and we call this feedback either positive which is amplifying making it stronger and negative feedback which is the corrective feedback. So if you have a purpose or a goal that is only dependent on positive feedback and you will ignore negative corrective feedback, this system goes beyond realimiteit, beyond the limits of reality, which leads then to, we say, non-linear, non-controllable, not governable effects. We see those non-linear effects everywhere. The financial system is, as we call it, negative interdependent, which means it serves some, but at the cost of others. The cost of environment, social cohesion, life. Information is considered as energy. The law of the conservation of energy tells us that energy is never lost. It's always there. It only changes form. Information is also never lost. It is there. Once it is communicated, learned, it is part of the totality of the energy flow between people, between the environment, between social systems. Therefore, information cannot be ignored. It is there. It is real. So, when we now know that information, energy, in fact, forms matter, we can work on solutions. What to do? If we now know that many systems we have created are negative interdependent systems leading to entropy, we therefore have the information how to change that we have the information, we use it as energy to change the matter. So we all have to sit down, think of, is my system, my organization, my political uh, idea sustainable or not sustainable? When we apply the Realimiteit principle, we can very easily learn it. So, the information, energy, that changes reality is within us. We can create positive interdependent systems by the system of communication. We can communicate. We can speak, we can exchange ideas. All ideas are therefore welcome. All ideas, all input of everybody in this world needs to be shared. Shared information leads to cohesion. Non-shared information, let's say willful ignorance, uh, the ignorance, the denial of of impact, the denial of non-linear effects leads to entropy. 
Designing positive interdependent systems can be done by drawing maps. Maps of interaction, communication. We have a purpose and for this purpose all information is needed. All the parts in the system, all the individual part of the system need to be linked by these calls called feedback loops. Feedback information needs to be fed into the system in order it to survive. Everything is connected. All information is shared, all energy is shared by people, by the environment, by the planet. This is the symbol of cohesion. Everything is interdependent, interconnected, therefore it communicates. One part communicates with this part, this part communicates with that part. Information therefore is the basis and is the energy to create order, to create a sustainable living system, beneficial to everyone, not just people, but life, the environment, social cohesion, our position in the universe. It depends mainly on how people communicate, how people interact. Of course, the, there are natural causes of entropy beyond our control. The sun, wind, storm, planetary changes. But what we can control, and that is 79% of all human conflict are made or are caused by human choice. And the choice is that we do not want to communicate. We do not want to exchange information. This led to the uh, imagination that we could live beyond the limits of reality, beyond really tight. This is an illusion and my effort in this lecture is to show you that we are living this illusion, that we are destroying this planet, that we are unable to create a social cohesion because we are in constant conflict, even armed conflict, to destroy the information that others are trying to tell us its information. Thank you.